welcome back. Uh, the only thing I did, <coughs> those that count the uh, technical difficulties I had earlier, uh, the only thing I have done is I created my character exactly like I did uh, before, and I've just landed. That is all I've done. Uh, those that caught it earlier, I made a joke that I would fall in love with a smuggler, uh, the dashing gunslinger smuggler, and then we landed on him. So, uh, yeah. So actually pretty funny in that sense. Um, so yeah, gonna see if uh, gonna see if we can do this all. So I landed. I don't really think there's anything, but now since it's not glitchy, I kind of walk around for a second. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, all right, let's walk it down. Hey, what's up, Livy? What's up, Taco? What are they called? Sprats. I want some sprats. Thanks, Steve. I can do that. Hey, what's up, my boy Octo? Oh, yeah, I guess that is true. You are just watching the stream, right? <laughs> Whoopsie. I mean, you could be doing something else. Like, you could be getting dinner. You could be getting drunk. Get white girl wasted. I don't know you like. Okay, sprint. Whee! Thanks, Steve. Hey, big cat. Yeah, white girl wasted. You know, you see the white girls up in the club, they get completely slammed, trashed, falling all over the bar, lapping their heads off. White girl wasted. Timid Canid. You know. Steve, I hope you have a good night when you pop in and out. did okay. Yeah, Steve knows what's up. Steve knows what's up.
Heal thyself, Ruth. You've tried the best now. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding yeah, stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on what patrol. Happened? I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. With guns. Some hull had grounded yes. their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way He's to attract some, like, marauders. Got cowboy bebop hair See going those on. canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? And what's up, Miguel and Livy? Everybody's having fun. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. You're stuck here. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a space. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. Okay. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Right. Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Bouncing, buddy. First, I'm gonna, you know, just take up, sh pick up shit because this is how you survive in space, everybody. I'm not a klepto, I'm a survivalist. That is what I am. And I will not be taking questions at this time. Perish. <laughs> Da, 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 da. My face. Tactical time dilation. Slow down time. If I stand still, it goes slow. If I move or attack, it drains faster. And it is right bumper. All right. About to use this bench. Suck it. Man, gunslinger, baby. Stevie Wright, unless somebody literally comes out and physically says, hey, that's mine, don't steal it. I'm gonna take it. And even if they do tell me that, I'm probably just gonna take it later when they're not looking because, I mean, they had it in the first place. Usually that means they can procure another. Usually. Uh, 
well, I'm liking the game. Uh, yeah, I had to put the game request up because I think right now I've got like eight or nine games that I haven't even started. high enough you will see how many mag picks or should you need and how long it'll take raising your skill will lower the number of items used okay so it uses them okay because i need two and i have two um yeah so basically i needed to um <clears throat> hire it up a little bit uh, which also just lets people know that the wait's longer as well, kind of subliminally, I hope. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm doing okay, Caliber. Earlier I had tech difficulties. Uh, so, but, uh, just a little bit of a change. Oh, I killed a sprat! buddy. He just was a little lizard. Um, but anyways, we got it all figured out. We're here now. We're playing. Uh, I love the retro feel it's uh, got. I'm super hyped about it. So yeah, and this is basically where I stopped earlier, right here. So after this, I haven't seen anything. Super hyped. Steve, shut up. Oh, anybody can recommend games. It's just basically if you do the points, uh, they go, it actually goes into a queue. And when I play, it depends on if I've got the game, when I get the game, and Things of that sort. Hmm, what is that? Is that someone right there? Sharpshooter right here. That's what I'm going for. Get out my face! Gotcha. Where the hell did that guy go? He jumped right over my head. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Alright, seems like I got a request. Uh, Big Cat, we love you. Now shut your bitch ass up. Alright. Uh, and if anybody wonders, I just, the difficulty is just normal. I ain't trying to, I've never played it. I want to be able to enjoy the game enough. I don't know why that, the Beatles song just popped in my head. I want to hold your hand. Huh? Anybody, any Beatles fans? You guys know that? Oh, got a leg. <laughs> I was just doing the thing. Alright, what do we got here? Oh man. Alright. Probably could have snuck my ass around here and maybe got skill points. Who knows? Okay. Oh. Okay, these are people. There's 
things over there, though. Oh. Okay. Vandal. Can I pick these mushrooms? Nope. Okay. That's some fallout logic for you right there. Weird fruit growing on the ground? Let's pick it. Hello. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. <laughs> I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Really? How is he? How is he? I just helped his ass. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. Coward, I'll do it myself. <laughs> I could never say that. I feel like these first three choices basically tell me that she ain't gonna live or they're gonna get their shit kicked in. Because it's like reverse psychology, reverse psychology, and then this one is, yeah, basically intimidation. Plus, I kind of want the XP points for myself. I need the XP. Octo, I didn't sell them out. I'm an honest, I'm an honest gal. Um, let me just sit here. I'm going to talk to this guy real quick. She's certified in customer service. I had to smack you across the face for that. I got time for your sass. Because I am the sass master. What in the blazes? Where'd you come from? We'll be right here, we'll be right in case here. you need emotional support. Yeah, emotionally support my balls. Let's go. This is not, this is, this would be a drinking game. This is not, I'm not drinking for this game. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm a solution woman. I have solutions. And that lieutenant back there is not a solution driven, what is this? There's some, that's a plant or something. I thought it was a little creature. I got him. Here we go, right here. I got him. Sorry, one second. My phone just rang. Let me pause that. Uno momento. nothing I did not do as well that battle as I had hoped okay wait there was four all together okay they're over here do I need to go back up and talk to her or do 
I'm not gonna go on this ship alone. Did they run? They ran, oh, there they are. I was like, did you guys run like cowards? What's up, Restless? Taco. Taco, why are you... Taco, why are you... This are you is going to take a lot of paperwork. Okay, yeah, but... I'm just going to do the paperwork right here. I'm going to... Oh, there's something over there. What's over there? Should I go check that out real quick? You got... Uh, Y'all, I'm like severely... This is why I get side... Side quest city is... The are. Are out of control. I'm gonna see what's in the ship, but then. Uh, oh. Alright, but I feel I should check this thing out real quick. I don't know what's over here, but I feel like I need to know. Okay, those were just plants. Huh? What do we got over here? What's over here? Stuff? That's a little disconcerting. Mm. Hey, what's going on here? Nobody's here defending me. Hey, what's up, Vernon? Nah, I'm just kidding. I can defend myself. That's all right. You can drink sassy juice. I'm drinking sassy juice tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I will be doing Drunk Dragon games like I do most Mondays, so... Woo! Can't wait! So, those that are there, I'll see you there. And I know Big Cat's gonna talk some shit, but... I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna get riggedy riggedy wrecked! <laughs> <laughs> don't hate don't hate it's like that last video man that video made me laugh so hard I was like oh man I, I'm gonna have to share that video but it was so funny I was like this stream just went from neutral to drunk phase and I was like I can hear I'm already talking all drunk and I'm like I don't give a shit <laughs> it made me laugh so hard All right. Anti Cleo management training. Ah, oh, so I do. Uh, burning speed. It was a uh, Rick and Morty reference. I've done it a few times in my drunk streams, so it's pretty funny. Okay, every time you level up, you earn skill points. Maximum 50 after 50, you can add them to specialized skills up to 100. Special unlock bonuses occur only every 20 points. Armor consumable status effects can temporarily raise or lower your skills. Okay. All right. Pretty cut and dry. So we have 10 points available. Okay. Okay, well, I feel like I should probably do some handguns here. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Leadership. 
what else we got here? Let's do one more. Let's do that. up every 20 points so let's do okay let's just do that all right skills oh wait we're gonna fly these right no i want to apply them okay Hey, what's up, hardcore? Tammy rolls tomorrow. Gonna get wasted. So, if you can't join, we're glad you had you here today, though. Uh, okay, tactical time dilation lasts longer. XP. Vendor prices go down. Damage along the main party goes up. Walk speed. Sprint speed. Okay. High maintenance. Yeah, I bet some of you are like, oh, you should take high maintenance. <laughs> Shit up. I ain't listening to any of it. Hey, Sir Tech, thanks for uh, subscribing. We do Twitch Prime. carry capacity because I told you I'm a survivalist and I will pick up everything. Okay. Boop. Okay. Well, damn it. I think that's what I picked. I think I picked that. I think I picked to give you 20. right oh well let's just do that I'll not be taking questions at this time got that got that These are factions, okay. Ooh, weapon management. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I can break these down and get uh, things, okay. Oh shit, I got a bunch of sabers here. Let's break one down. Yeah. I don't need a bunch of them. What is this? Options. Don't need to repair it. Okay, I guess I don't need to repair it. Right? Options. What is this? Telescope staff. Hey, what's up, Fireglow? Thanks for coming to the stream. I'm 
trying to figure out how to repair this, bitch. Repair, so I guess I might not have what I need to repair it. Oh well. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm still at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of cats here. Please be there's informed that this vessel surrounded. contains no valuable plunder. Ha. <laughs> like, that's gonna stop me. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. She's identifying me as a marauder. I see. Okay, well. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am okay. authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all Oh man, her cameras. face went crazy! Five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. Oh, program to express Adam. disappointment. Oh, this vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Yeah, this reminds me of like New Vegas a little bit. I understand. I, understand. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers Ew. and effective reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Octo. An emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Astutely observed. However, the probability of Ooh, the XP. power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies okay. you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Huh. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck Woo! in your search for a power regulator. Big cat. I survived my way onto a ship, okay? I did what I needed to do. I got a ship, didn't I? That was like numero step one. We have done it. Little to no bloodshed. Woo! Okay, but this is my 
ship, so it's still anything. The AI has accepted her fate. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. <laughs> If you will. All right. I'm a damn dirty thief. <laughs> and now I have a shotgun. <laughs> I am part murder bot now. You fools. You don't realize what you've done. Ooh, what's this? Some kind of stick. Sources of the ship, that's all. Let's repair shit. Um, I will not be taking questions at this time. Okay. Oh, this one needs to be repaired. What is this? Oh. Ball stick. No, I don't. Oh, here we go. That's what I need to do. Looks like I don't have the things I need to do this. Yeah. Yes, I'm ten short. Okay, well, that's all right. Short on this one. Okay, let's break some shit down. Do we need this? I feel like I don't need a lot of this stuff. This thing's almost broken. 5%. Let's break it. Let's break it. We go mad with power. <laughs> I mean, we don't go mad. I'm sorry. Restless, I didn't know we were selling. We weren't going mad. You have to tell me about this. We have to plan ahead of time. Hmm. Let's break that down. You know, <laughs> good for the dirt. You could also swing it in faces. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. What does it do? Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. So that's if I just want to like redraw all my perk branches. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Alright, which is what I'm going to try to get. Wait, what was that? Okay, just seeing shit, that's all. Just seeing shit. Hey, what's up, Archer? Yeah, it lives. Or 
or rather I just played what I was Due to catastrophic to power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. We picked up the logger. Oh gosh, scared me. Pop open like that fridge. Cool looking camera things sitting around everywhere. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Oh. Mm -hmm. You was a little sweet on Alex, wasn't you? sufficiently traveled the whole ship. Oh, there we go. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please okay, ignore them. Okay. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I don't have a job. Really, after I patched up your friend, lie, you got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. You take down payments and want to buy on it. <laughs> uh, well, I know that's not going to matter because apparently I shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, I'm, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with me, I now, lied. Right. I'm, to I'm Reyes, a thief and a liar. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Sure. You do you. You do you, Kiki. I got places to go. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna keep doing that, aren't I? I'm pretty sure that's the run button for, uh... Uh... Uh, Skyrim. So that's probably why I keep pressing it. Now I know. It says go over there, but look, there's stuff over here. What's over here? It is a crash ship. Could be things. Yes. Ah, see? It's very intense with nothing else. Ah! Oh, there's some. Ow! Shit! Sneaky. Oh, what's that? A ravager. Oh, shit. dead. destroyed the shotgun. I think I destroyed the shotgun. How do I change the uh, weapon? Okay, it's not that one. Not that one. Oh shit, I don't 
There we go. Uh, it only had 5%. I would have shot it one time and I probably would have taken it in the side, girl. Okay. Okay. Bigger gun. It's not quite huge. Oh, there's something big over there. Oh, a brute. There are two. Oh, shit. Big boys. Can I take out the brutes? Am I gonna get my ass handed to me? Eh? Anybody know? Oh, shit. There's three of them. Oh, that's a behemoth. Those are brutes. Ooh, that guy's big. He's a big boy. Oh god, he's huge. I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't fight these guys yet. But he's big. That guy's big. I only got 30 of these bullets. You guys listen to me. This is how I would be out in the woods. Just talking shit over and over and over. He's a big boy. I'm going for it. I gotcha. I got one. Ah, oh, run! What's that? What's it doing that? Oh! Fuck! What the hell did he just do?
Huh. I'm not drunk enough, though, to go, I'm invincible! Because I will fall off a cliff. I have done that, guys. Oh, I don't know why. I thought that was some kind of plant I could pick up. Fallout logic again. Alright. I've killed one guy over here somewhere, I think. I don't know. I don't know where I killed him. Somewhere. His ass flipped out when I hit him. What you got? Oh, you got some drugs. I mean, supplies. I wasn't looking for drugs. Good for supplies, everybody, okay? It's looking for supplies. Nothing. Okay. Oh, man, he had a soft rattle. A soft rattle. Assault rifle. I can't even talk. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, I'm here. Let's look at a. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see, assault rifle. take how can I tell okay heavy okay heavy heavy which I've got none of those okay mm. trip blade that's pretty cool okay sorry I just wanted to know what I had Do that. Good. We cleaned up shop. Hey, Dreamer. I hope you have a good night. Thanks for popping in. Marauder hooligan. So we got more marauders. Or what's the other way? Looks like there's two ways to get here. Oh, look, now they're up there. Well, I feel I've already proven myself, so, you know, I don't feel like
like I gotta do it again. I'm gonna go somewhere else. Suckers. Love you too, Dreamer. See you later. Shit. Da, 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 da. Cruising. It's just better if I don't look and stray from the beaten path. <laughs> we'll just keep finding shit. What is that? Something, something spiked right over here. Go inside. <laughs> oh, sad day. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? 
Don't go ambling out in those Don't hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Marauder territory, See you later, Steve. Thanks for popping in and hanging out. You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Hmm. Oh, worse. Unemployed cannibals. You ever seen a marauder hold down a job? Or put a stake into society? Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. Woo! Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. Glad to shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Ah, uh, heard a lot of new workers say that. First time they set eyes on Edgewater, they'll say, well, I can't work here. I don't belong here. Well, we do belong here. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of us from the cradle to the grave. As long as we provide our own cradles. Shit. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? I do what I want. <laughs> Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Company policy. If it was Is up to better? me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his... He just is. Yeah? No, I think yeah. that was it. I think, maybe. The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. Hey, what's up, Art Broken? Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Thanks, Lady Restless, for hanging. Happy to have you lurk. Hope's just a rumor, friend. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Alright. Something I can do for you? I think you got everything. Yeah, okay, let's just go. I guess I can pick what quest I'm on. Yeah, sure do. Small grave matter. Okay. Oh, botched. Damn. You get botched ones. Damn. That worries me a little bit.
watching. He doesn't need guns. And I'm doing stuff for him. I may need the guns. Into Edgewater! Start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. Okay. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. The cannery. Don't go knocking your work. Mm -hmm. At least we've got work. Nice, Sonny. I like it so far. It's interesting. Just the general store. Why not? Let's go inside. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Hmm. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Go right ahead. Other than yourself, definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong, he seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth, knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't <laughs> even want to be here. 
I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained, inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word is, they're gonna replace her with an auto-mechanical barkeep. She's... What's the word? Obsolete. Wow. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a... It's a... Uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life... If loving the place I work makes me crazy, I don't get paid for banter. Yeah, Music to my ears. There we go, selling the stuff.
cannery. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. Don't let the boss catch you saying that. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Here we go. They told them I need to explain this big lesson. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Very, Show like me it. where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh, hmm. honorable apparel of a loyal worker. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Aw, go get some Mr. sleep, Tops Octo. Ain't liable to be keen on dismantling you it. later. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. 
Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers, I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. Neither do I. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the... Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. We belong to one community. Of course. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know... I mean, if that's all right with you, mister. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that... Great! I got my wrenches... She wants to get out of here, too. And hair... Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck. I've got a companion. We're friends. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. What's this? Come on, lady. Come on, all the way in. I'm gonna leave you. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. Got a sec? Oh my gosh. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along. Like, it's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear, it does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. <gasps> the vicar. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't... Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, that's what my dad used to say. Hmm. All right. All right, lady.
there's one right in here. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Foreman Granger. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. Aww. If you're not familiar with war. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. You Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon did. Eugene wasn't fat. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. <laughs> I'm the one who Jeez. found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable <laughs> damage to company property. What Eugene did to him... She's not a Sophia. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene... In other words, Edge... Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town... I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace. That's some weird shit. People, property, and all this stuff. What's all this now? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Well, uh, did, uh, uh, -oh. uh did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Seems like they Come are. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely uh, not Cat playing. lover, this what type of gun is your go-to? Shotgun, sniper, <laughs> sub, assault, night. pistol, dual pistol, rocket. For, yeah, for video games, of course. Uh, probably my go-to, uh... Is probably handgun, uh, like pistol or scout rifle, something of that where it's duality, uh, is what I mean by scout rifle. So, you some sort of wandering alien. You don't know that. Uh, wait, no. She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage. Just... Hey, you're in. There's a cache of anthracil and tuck. I need you to break it. I'll do what. I tried medicate. Anyway, I can't. More like the company. So you. Yeah, okay. You yeah, okay. Like Silas knows, doesn't he? Look, I got my gravesite fees right. I know. Read what. Read what. Poor guy's sick. You're making a Another mistake working for Abernathy. What? Excuse me? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. What? 
All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine hmm. to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I... That's all I can... Oh, I can cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene <laughs> recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I can show you my hands. <laughs> so everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet space. You will also report to me. Ah, gravesite fees. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless. I simply cannot afford it. Thank you, no. I just tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully... Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. Aw, poor barber. I've had barber. to keep this old place running with my own savings. It's pretty funny, cat lover. I am, uh... Not a bad idea. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give some. Much obliged. But see, he just used country slang. Oh, I thought that was a big ass gun. Oh gosh. Grim? Is <laughs> that the last one? It's funny though. Yeah, well, an Edgewater is a pretty common Western, you know, like Western lore name. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to the Space center. Western! You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. 
<laughs> Cat liver, it could be. I'm talking about mechanical soldiers. Mechanical soldiers. That's right. Auto mechanicals. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. <laughs> Mechanical repellent! A stroke of inspiration. Leveled up, suckers. Let's go turn this damn quest in. I think I might call it a night because it's getting late here and I still have a few things to do before my Monday starts. Or rather, before I go to bed to start my Monday. Lovely to see you above, Miss Pavadi. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Best to ask her your... My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... Oh. Something I can do for... You run into any... Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his ep- You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Okay, so he wants me to extort. Hmm. Well, anyways, where's what's your tits? Yeah, what's huh? Yeah. huh? That's on account of how I never met her. Uh, streaming tomorrow. Uh, I will probably be streaming tomorrow, uh, Central Standard Time or Central Daylight Time. Possibly around, like, three-ish, maybe? Three or four? I don't know. I'm gonna start somewhere between, for sure, between two and five. But I think it's gonna be more like three o'clock, four o'clock, somewhere in there. I don't know. Somewhere in there, though. That's usually when I start. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got... Gosh. Well, I don't know about... It's sensible. Dad just... Keep an eye out for sure. Everything. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for tuning into the stream. I'm glad we finally got it up and running. I really like the game. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited to keep playing it and stuff. It's a very interesting game, I think. So hopefully you guys will tune in. But tomorrow is Dragon Drinking Games, like every Monday. So go and get our drink on in Tamriel. Tomorrow afternoon is surely evening. Uh, so I will see you guys there. And if not, I will see you whenever I see you. Bye.